Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. How Hi. are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you today, Carla? Uh, I'm. ¿Cómo se dice descansar? I'm relaxed. Está relajada. Uh, I am relaxed. Yes, I am relaxed. Nice. So you didn't work today? No, I'm. I work uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday only. Only three days. Wow. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> okay. Um, the rest of you, how are you today, Karen? Uh, working. Much working. A lot of work. Sí. You worked a lot today. Work a lot. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. And what about you, Iris? How are you? Fine. Very Hi. good. Okay, great. And Roylan? Great, teacher. Great, fantastic. Today, today I was resting. Yesterday, I, I work a lot. Okay, nice. What about you, Victor? How are you? Hello. Um, hello. Um, um, work every day and work. So you work today. And how do every you feel? Day. Every day. Okay. Nice. And uh, Jaime, how are you? Te puso en mute. No, eh? How are you today, Noé? Eh? Okay. Hello, hello, teacher. Sorry. Hello. Okay. Hello. How are you today? Hello. 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 I am. I am very nice today. Okay. Great. Yes. Did you work yes. or did you rest? Mm, I, I I am work today. Oh, you work today. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yes. What about you, dear? How are you? Excuse me. Repeat how are me, you? How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Fine, teacher. Okay. Do you work or do you study? Um, I study. Okay. Okay. When Jose, how are you? Fine, teacher. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, well, yesterday we um, started with a review about the simple present. Right? So we discussed about affirmative statement, negative statement. Uh, we discussed about the third particular. For today, I'm going to share uh, the second part of the slide. So we uh, are going to talk about the WH questions. And also we will continue with this part. Yesterday, um, we work in the present simple, affirmative, negative statements, okay? So this is the second part, the present simple, and it says two, because it's the second part of yesterday's class. Okay, and this interrogative and short answers, just to make a review. Para hacer un repaso de lo que son las preguntas, uh, de este tipo de preguntas son las yes, no questions, ¿ok? Haciendo un repaso en presente simple, yes, no questions, vamos a iniciar la pregunta con el auxiliar do para las personas I, you, we, and they. Si es tercera persona singular, vamos a usar does. Does he, does she, does it. 
Y si se fijan en este caso, el verbo, ayer decíamos que se le agrega S, S, pero eso es solo en oración afirmativa, solo en afirmativa. Cuando se trata de oración negativa o pregunta, no cambiamos el verbo, el verbo se mantiene. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy usando un auxiliar que es específicamente para tercera persona. Al, eh, el auxiliar cumple la función de indicarme persona y tiempo, entonces ya no necesito hacer el cambio acá. No voy a decir, his, does he swims? No, ya no es necesario porque tengo el auxiliar de tercera persona. Entonces, básicamente en este tipo de preguntas se empieza con do o con das, dependiendo del sujeto. Luego del auxiliar escribimos al sujeto, you, we, my brother, my sister. Uh, y luego el, um, el verbo y puede que tengamos complemento, ¿verdad? Siempre contestamos utilizando el auxiliar en la respuesta, el mismo auxiliar básicamente. Si es afirmativa, tenemos el ejemplo, do you swim? Yes, I do. O no, I don't. Okay. Do we sleep? Yes, we do. Or no, we don't. Do they eat? Yes, they do. O no, they don't. Podría ser que sea negativa. No, they don't. Does he swim? Se fijan, empezamos con das. Contestamos con das también. Y si es negativa, doesn't. Okay. Does he swim? Yes, he does. Or no, comma, he doesn't. Does she sleep? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does it eat? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Okay, this is the first slide. Do we have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta acá? No questions. No questions. Perfect. Okay. Make questions according to the pictures using the verb given. Write affirmative or negative short answers. And then we're going to check. So look at the picture. It says make questions and short answers. And the verb is study. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta utilizando el verbo study? Ah. Mm. Uh, look at the picture. Basándonos en el dibujo, does he... Yes. Does he study? Uh -huh. Does he study? Y la respuesta sería... Mm, no, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. no, he doesn't. <coughs> like, and we have a lady shopping with a credit card. <laughs> so, <laughs> ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Does she like shopping? Does, does she? Does she like shopping? Excellent. Very good. Does she like shopping? What do you think is the answer? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Of course. <laughs> yes, she does. Okay. With credit card. Um, drink. Does she drink? Yes. Does he drink? He drink? Mm -hmm. No. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Watch. Does he, he watch? TV? No, he doesn't. Excellent. Fly. Does he fly? Does he fly? Does he fly? Yes, he does. 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 Yes, he does.
Yes. Swim. And do they? Do they? Do they? Do they swim? swim? Do they? Uh huh. Do they swim? No. Yes, they do. No. Yes, they do. <coughs> Okay, does Paul have a shower every day? Yes. Yes. He does. He does. Okay, está bien. Pero en la picture no es una shower. Um, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? En América, bueno, en, en, me imagino que en otros países también, uh, lo que nosotros comúnmente tenemos en El Salvador es un shower. El shower, la ducha, ¿eh? que nos cae de arriba y nosotros estamos parados recibiendo el agua. ¿verdad? Es, una es por... Eh, darse un baño es en la bañera. Sí, una bañera sí. Ajá. Esto en inglés, este, esta cuestión se llama bathtub. Bathtub. D H B bathtub. Así como está aquí, solo que le agrega U y B. Bathtub. Esa es la, la bañera. Cuando se hace ahí, entonces se llama bath. Bath. Okay. Um, what do you think? No. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, no, she doesn't. <laughs> but love Paul Alice. Alice. Paul loves Alice. No, she doesn't. Does Alice love Paul? No, she doesn't, but Paul loves Alice. No. No, he doesn't. They don't. Porque son dos. Do the children. They, ajá, ellos. No, they don't. No, they don't. They, they cry. They cry. Ay, ya la contesté. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Because camping. Camp. What do they eat? Ahí ya no yes, ¿verdad? No. no. They eat hot dogs. They eat hot dogs. Hot dogs. Estas se llaman WH information questions. Las que estábamos respondiendo anteriormente se fijaron que solo era yes, no, yes, no. En esta no podemos decir yes or no, porque nos está preguntando qué comen, necesita información. Entonces contestamos, respondemos y damos la información. They eat hot dogs. Ah, volvemos a una yes, no question. Do they take drugs? Yes. 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 No, they don't take no. drugs. Están como una protesta ahí. What do they have for lunch? Information. What do they have for lunch? They have for lunch watermelon. Watermelon. They have watermelon for lunch. Uh, <laughs> Does he drive well? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he, doesn't. he drives badly. very badly. badly. In this case, you are going to <coughs> do your job. Fill in the gaps with the correct present simple form of the verbs in bracket.
encontraste algo para comer. Ok, ahí tienen. Ah, tenemos que completar con los verbos que están en paréntesis, ¿verdad? Aquí la primera, por ejemplo, dice James. Fútbol at all. At all significa para nada. At all. Esto, at all. Para nada. Absolutamente no. Y dice not like. El not me indica que tengo que hacer la negativa. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría acá? James. Doesn't. Like. Like. Doesn't like. Doesn't like football at all. Football at all. Yes, James doesn't like football at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, James doesn't like football at all. Okay, and number two. Number two is question. <coughs> Do you have a bag? Bath no, or no. shower? A shower. Okay. Do you have a bath or a shower? Very good. My brother? My brother studies medicine. Uh -huh. My brother studies. Studies. Studies medicine. Uh -huh. My brother studies medicine. Ahí haríamos el cambio de la Y por I latina y agregamos ES, ¿verdad? Eh, number four, ¿cómo quedaría la número cuatro? We learn German at the school. Ajá, así como está el verbo, ¿verdad? We learn. Learn, así. Porque es, es plural. We learn. Ok, Mary, number five. Mary speaks. Mary, Mary, speaks. Mary speaks. Mary speaks. Well. Uh -huh. Mary speaks. Tercera persona singular. Oh, Oración oh, oh, oh. afirmativa. Speaks. Mary speaks. Speaks. English. Well. Number six. I don't understand the exercise. Okay. Excellent. I don't understand the exercise. Number seven. Do you father walk to the office? Does, does your father? Does, ajá. Does. Ajá, porque el sujeto de la pregunta es tu papá. Your father. This is this, does. Does your father walk to the office? Okay, good. Number eight. Sarah never does her homework. Excellent. Sara never does her homework. Number nine. Our teachers. Our teachers give us give us lot, lot give us of lot homework. Of, no, okay, no lo voy a cambiar porque dice nuestros profesores. Es mm -hmm. en plural. Our teacher give us a lot of homework. Okay, give normal like that. My grandma. Glasses. Where, huh? where, 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 glasses. Where, where. Where. Okay, my grandma wears glasses. Where. Okay. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'll send you this tomorrow. And to continue with the topic, we have the contents of the platform. What you see in the platform is this, simple present WH questions. ¿Qué dijimos que son las WH questions? ¿Vale, son? Con respuestas. Uh, información, ¿verdad? Con, Tenemos sí. que proveer es información. información. Sí. sí. Ok. Aquí tenemos uh, esta presentación en la que vamos a, a, a ver las dos preguntas, right? Hmm, okay. Okay. Um, so you see, do you need a t-shirt? Yes, I do. 
Okay, is that Yes, no question. Okay. Yes, yes, no question. Uh, al otro lado es una information question. Aquí no puedo responder sí o no, ¿verdad? What do you need? ¿Qué es lo que necesitas? I need a t-shirt. Doy la información. Do you need a t-shirt? Ahí le pregunto, ¿qué, uh, ¿necesitas? Yes. En la otra es, ¿qué necesitas? What do you need? Ok. Yes, no. And add information. And the other, you give details. What? We use what to ask about things. Ok. What, dijimos que significa que. What, or what. Uh, what do you need? ¿Qué? ¿Qué necesitas? I need a suit. Veamos. Uh, a suit. ¿Qué es un suit? Es un traje de, de chaqueta o saco y pantalón o saco y falda. That is a suit. Se pronuncia suit porque si usted dice suit es una habitación de hotel y se escriben igual, solo se pronuncian diferente. <risa> Hey, what does, okay, what does his sister like? Oh, she likes the red dress. Likes the red dress. Uh -huh. What color? What color do you want? Blue. What color does Clarly like? It's yellow. What size? What size do they need? Information, what size do they need? Uh, probably extra large. Si seguimos comiendo así como nos gustan las pupusas. What size does Peter want? Small. Small. Queremos talla small comiéndonos cinco dólares de pupusas. Which? ¿Para qué sirve el which? ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Ajá, entonces utilizamos which para preguntar sobre um, opciones, uh, una elección, ¿ok? Um, we answer with one or ones. Uh, normalmente contestamos utilizando one for singular y ones for plural. Which code do you need? The brown one. Ok. Esto solo es para evitar repetir la misma palabra. Aquí ya le pregunto, ¿qué abrigo necesitas? What coat do you need? Aquí ya dijo coat. Aquí vamos a evitar decir coat. Y lo sustituimos con one. The brown one. El café. Which pants, ese va plural, which pants does she want? The gray ones. Los grises. The gray ones. Esto se lo voy a mandar, no se preocupen. Ok, why. El why significa por qué. Y ese es para preguntar sobre la razón. Cuando preguntamos razón, respondemos normalmente diciendo because. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why es por qué. Ahora respondo con because. Because es por qué tal y tal cosa. Uh -huh. Dando la razón. Pregunta, respuesta. Why do you like this sweater? ¿Por qué te gusta este suéter? Porque es nuevo. Because it's new. Why does your friend like those sneakers? Because they are cheap. Son baratos. Because they are cheap. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cómo se forman? Básicamente es igual que la yes, no. La diferencia es que antes del auxiliar do o does, vamos a poner la wh word. Okay. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. What do you like? ¿Qué, qué te gusta? What do you like? La WH word primero, luego el auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, en forma base. ¿Okay? 
that is the formula. Another example, which sweater does she need? The sweater, cual sweater necesita, right? Important, remember the use of do and does. What do you need? Do you. What do? Do. What do you need? Uh-huh, I, what do? El do is, do I, do you, do we, do they? El does, he, she, it. What does he need? What does she need? What does it need? Okay, for third person singular. And that's it. Okay, habiendo explicado esto, lo que ustedes verán o han visto en la plataforma es esto. Simple present WH questions. Es lo que acabamos de hacer. WH question, WH word, auxiliar, subject, verb, and then the question mark. We're gonna listen the audio so you can read and practice pronunciation. Page 52, exercise four, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay. As you see, um, this is uh, lo que acabamos de estudiar, okay? So, in this kind of questions, where do you work? In a hospital, what do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it, okay? Esta pregunta es muy interesante. Fíjense acá, how do you like it? I really like it. How does he like it? It's okay. What do they like it? Oh, how? They hate it, okay? How? El how es para preguntar de qué forma o qué tanto, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿Y, si, ¿Y se fijan? Está preguntándole qué tanto te gusta tu trabajo en este caso, ¿verdad? ¿A dónde trabajas? En un hospital. ¿Qué haces? Soy un doctor. Uh, ¿Qué tanto te gusta? Realmente me gusta lo que hago, mi trabajo. ¿Ok? A él dice, it's okay, ah, está bien. No es como que me súper encanta el trabajo, pero no está mal, está bien. It's okay. Aquí le dice, they hate it. Okay, they hate it. Hate es odiar. Odio, okay. Es, um, questions so far, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? No. El, how do you like it? Se traduce como, como, ¿qué tanto te gusta? Ajá, ¿qué tanto te gusta? O, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo te gusta? ¿Cómo, cómo, ah, realmente me gusta? Uh -huh. Igual le pueden preguntar en un restaurante que cómo le gustaría, pero ahí sería, how would you like, con el would. How would you like your meat? Eh, ¿Cómo le gustaría que esté su carne de cocida? How would you like your meat? To be cook. Right? Y en español, they hate it. ¿Cómo, cómo sería? Lo odian. Lo odian. Uh -huh. Ajá. Como aquí está en, en plural. ¿A dónde trabajan ellos? Sí, en una tienda. En una tienda. ¿Qué hacen ellos? Ellos son cajeros. Ah, ¿Qué tanto les gusta o cómo les gusta su trabajo? Ah, lo odian. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. sí, sí. They hate yes, it. they hate it. 
Uh, what about you? How do you like your job? I really like it. It's okay. It's okay. You really I like it. it. I love it. Okay. Uh huh. It's okay. You can say, uh, está bien. Uh, puede ser que sea aburrido. It's boring. Boring. <laughs> o puede decir, it's interesting. Mi trabajo es interesante. It's interesting. How do you like it? Ah, it's interesting. I like it. So. It's so so. Uh -huh. It's not so bad. No es tan malo. También puede decir, it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. O peor es nada. Or it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's complete the conversations and then we're going to practice. Um, and okay. I think you can complete it and creo que tienen su cuadernito por ahí a la par. So, complete the conversations. Vamos a completar. Lean la conversación. Y hay que responderla en el cuaderno. Solo las respuestas, si ustedes gustan, y después las chequeamos y practicamos.
Are you done? Finished? All right. Um, let's check your answers. Okay. Um, Abigail. Esto, en la segunda parte de la verdad. Uh, yes, A, and you can read uh, this conversation, the first one. Number one. Uh, what does your sister do? My sister, she is a nurse. Why does she like it? It's difficult. But she loves it. Okay. Yeah, very good. La única es acá. How? Uh -huh. Like it. Uh -huh. How does she like it? Creo que escuché otra otra palabra como why. 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 Uh -huh. what, mm, creo... Es que no llamaba cuál era, por eso pensé que era. This is how. How. Cuando va a preguntar qué tanto o cómo le gusta su trabajo es how. Uh -huh. Oh, bueno. bueno, gracias. Okay, uh, next, number two, volunteer. Where, where does your brother work? Where yes, where does your brother work? Continue. In a hotel. In a hotel. He's in a hotel. In a hotel. Mm -hmm. He's a front desk clerk. Oh, how does he like it? Oh, how does he like it? Very good. I like he it. He doesn't really like it. He doesn't really like it. Excellent. Well done. Uh, number three, volunteer. Volunteer for number three. Nobody? Pero no veo por el cuadrito. What do your parents like? Okay, lo voy a mover, ya que ya hicimos esta dos, lo voy a poner aquí. Okay, number three. Where do your parents like? How do your parents like their job? Yes. Oh. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. How do they mm -hmm. like it? Where do they work? Ajá, uh -huh, porque le contesta en una oficina en la ciudad. Entonces le preguntó, uh, no recuerdo. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde trabajan? Ajá, la, la pregunta sería, no recuerdo dónde trabajan, ya que la respuesta es, en una oficina en la ciudad. Ok, so you can see, I don't remember, where do they work? And the answer, in an office in the city. But very good, thank you for your participation. And number four. What do you do? What do you do? Yes. I am a student. I'm a student. Okay. I see. How do you like your class? I see. How do you like your classes? Okay. They are great. Yeah, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Okay. Let's practice the number one. Can you repeat, please? What does your sister do? What, what does, does your sister, sister do? do? My sister, she's a nurse. My sister, sister she's a nurse. How does she like it? How does, How does she, she like, like it? How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. It's, it's difficult, difficult, but she loves it. it. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother, your brother work? Brother work? In a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. No. In a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. 
clerk. Oh, how does he like it? Oh, does he like it? He doesn't really like it. He doesn't really like it. All right, number three. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, parents like their job. Oh, I guess they like them. Oh, I like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? I don't, I don't remember. Don't remember. They work. In an office in the city. In an office in the city. What is do? What, what do you do? do, you do? do, you do? I'm a student. I am a student. I see. How do you like your classes? I see. Like How do you like your classes? classes? They're great. I like them a lot. They, they are great. great. I, I like them, 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 a them a lot. Okay. Questions here? Okay, we have, uh, let's see, David, Laura, and then Brian and Jessica. The first question here is, where does David work? Where does David work? Where did he work? In, in his office. He works in an office, okay? He works in an office. Uh, the second one, Laura, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Where does she Where work? Where does Laura, Laura work? work? Uh -huh. It can be, where does Laura work? Oh. Or where does she work? And the answer? She works in a school. In a school. He works in a school. Okay, now Brian and Jessica. Where do they work? 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 They work in a store. In a store? Uh huh. In a tienda. Mm -hmm. They work in a store. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's share this exercise. Okay, as you have worked with the simple present, let's find the mistake and correct them. Okay, vamos a encontrar el error y corregirlo. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo es esto? Ok, aquí en el número uno vemos que es una oración afirmativa, eh, tercera persona singular, entonces el error está en que go, tendría que ir con juego a goes. He goes to bed very early. Now, in number two, do they, do they live? Do they live do in they. Canada? Ajá, el error está acá. ¿Qué es el do? Do they live in Canada? Okay, that's for number two. Um, okay. Ahí es porque es. Oh. Ahí es. Oh. Ok, les voy a dar unos minutos para que lean, analicen dónde está el error, lo encuentren y luego los discutimos.
Okay. Este es para the verb, que sería cooking. Refuerzo. Uh, un refuerzo. Acuérdense que estamos en presente simple. Presente simple no lleva ing, no puede ser cooking. El amo está de más. Porque I usually cook dinner for my family. Ajá, no, no necesito el am ahí porque am es cero estar. Entonces ahí sería como yo estoy usualmente cocinar. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? So, el am está de más, ¿ok? Correcto. I usually cook dinner for my family. Very nice. Ok, that's number three. Vamos a analizar las demás. Pueden irlas haciendo en el cuaderno y luego discutimos las respuestas. Are they have um, she don't like them? Um, she don't like she don't like. I have finished. Okay, you're very fast. <laughs> Have the rest of you finished? Okay, I'm volunteering number four. What is the mistake? Meet. El, el verbo, meet. No debe ser meeting. Okay, vamos a ver. No, es que do, do they, no are they. 
Ajá, to take, y el verbo es have, tener. Y meaning es reunión. Sí, reunión. No, 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 Reuniendo. No. Uh, el verbo meet, meet, es verse o reunirse con alguien, pero cuando le ponemos, um, well, en este caso, el verbo es have, tener. Una reunión. reunión cada semana. Cada semana. Ah. Es un noun, o sea, es un noun, no es verbo acá. Está cumpliendo la función uh -huh. del nombre. Reunión. Ok. Uh -huh. um, next, number five. She doesn't. She doesn't. 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 Excellent. Uh, number six. Doesn't have. Have. Porque have. el auxiliar es have. You, uh, Does John have. 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 Ajá, have. porque tiene el auxiliar acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, what about number seven? He knows. 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 Ajá, le falta la S ahí. He knows the answer. Number eight. Play. 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 La, no play. Sin la E. Play. Sin la E, ajá, no necesita esa E ahí. Um, number nine. They have. They have. They have lots. Do you? They usually drive. 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 To work. Drive. 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 Wow. Uh, Jenny doesn't sing a list or does not oh. work in a restaurant. Oh. Number 12. She worries. Sí, y agre quitarle la I y agregarle I, yes. latina y una E. E, S, ajá. Faltaba. <laughs> <risa> la 14 falta el auxiliar du. Aquí qué pasa en la En la número 12 we have to change the y ah, no, en la 14. En la y y y yes. En travel, travel está una s de más. Está una s de más, ajá, porque este verbo tiene el infinitivo to, to travel. Y en la 14 le falta el do. Why do you study English? Study English. Ok, el auxiliar. Siempre necesitamos el auxiliar. Do o das y aquí hace falta. Why do you study English? Sí, das drink. Sin la S. Sin la S. Ok, excelente. Y they... Y el ave está de más... They are, uh -huh, el are no es necesario ahí. No necesitamos ese verbo ahí. Ok, very good. Good job. Este igual se los pongo mañana para que les quede en sus archivos. Ok. Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No questions, No questions. Ok, fue un buen repaso del Simple Present. Lo hicieron excelente. Este, este tema cuesta agarrarlo, pero veo que a ustedes no Ok, so congratulations to all of you. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you here. And, uh, well, rem uh, remember, ya estamos como a la mitad de la sección 3. Mañana es viernes, no tenemos clases, entonces um, hay que trabajar y ponerse al día con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque creo que ya van a empezar a pedir los papeles también para hacer la próxima inscripción. Ok. So, thank you okay. for joining today's session. Uh, see you on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy your dinner and sleep well. Right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. See you next week. See you next week.